Hey guys, today we are going to be looking at area of trapezoid. So a trapezoid is a quadrilateral four sides where two of the opposite sides are parallel. So the parallel sides are the bases of the trapezoid. We have two bases in a trapezoid, base one, or we call it B1, and base two, or we call it B2. And those bases are going to form a right angle with the height. And those are the three things that you need for the area of a trapezoid formula. There's two ways to find the area of a trapezoid formula. Basically, you add the bases together and then multiply by the height and you have to take half of that. So you either divide by two or multiply the whole thing by one half. I usually use this formula where you're going to add the bases together, multiply it by the height, and then we'll divide the whole thing by two. So let's look at this one right here. We want to find the area of this figure. I'm gonna go ahead and label this would be base one, this would be base two, and then five centimeters would be our height. So to find the area, I'll do B1 plus B2 times the height and then divide by two. So to find the area, I'm gonna do the bases, which were 12 and 10, I'll add them together, I'll multiply them by the height of five, and then divide by two. So the area will be 22 times five divided by two. And now I'm gonna do 22 times five, and I get 110. So the area of this trapezoid is 110 divided by two. So the area of this trapezoid is 55 centimeters squared. Okay, let's look at number two. I need to find the area of this figure. So I'm gonna be plugging into the formula base one plus base two times the height, all divided by two. So my two parallel sides are seven and nine, so those are gonna be my bases. And then I have two other sides. Four is the one that's going to be the height because of the right angle. And I am going to not use this side right here, that's just extra information. So let's go ahead and find the area now that we have all the needed information. So the area will be the bases added together. So seven plus nine. times the height of four divided by two. So seven plus nine is 16, so I do 16 times four divided by two. 16 times four is 64, and 64 divided by two is 32. So the area of this trapezoid is 32 meters squared. Okay, number two, it says find the area of the figure. So I have the height, and this is what I'm using for the height instead of this one right here because that doesn't form a right angle. And then I have one of the bases, but I don't have this whole base right here. But I can figure it out because they told me that this part right here is two, and then this length right here, I know because they gave it to me down below, it's 11.5. So to find that base, I will do two plus 11.5. So the whole top base is going to be 13.5 feet. So now I can plug into my formula, area equals the bases added together times the height all divided by two. So the area is going to be the top base of 13.5 plus the bottom base of 11.5 times the height of seven all divided by two. So 13.5 plus 11.5 would be 25. So 25 times seven divided by two will give me the area. So now I need to do 25 times seven. 
25 times 7 is 175. So I'm going to do 175 divided by 2 to get the area of this trapezoid. Area of the trapezoid is 87.5 feet squared. Okay, let's look at number four. So they, these are the bases even though they're vertical instead of horizontal since those are the parallel sides. And they gave me one of the bases, it is 20 inches. And then they gave me the height right here. I'm gonna use eight for the height since that is forming the right angle with the bases. And then I do not know what this base is right here, but I can figure it out. This base is composed of six inches and the length of the other base, which was 20 inches. So to find the length of that green base, I would do six plus 20, which is 26. So the second base is 26. And now I have the things that I need to find my area. I have both bases and the height. So to find the area, I will do base one plus base two times the height and then divide by two. So to find the area, I'm gonna add my bases, which were 20 and 26. I'll multiply it by the height of eight and then divide by two. So the area would be 46 times eight divided by two. So I need to figure out what 46 times eight is. Three hundred sixty-eight. So now to find the final area of the trapezoid, I need to do 368 divided by two. Area of this trapezoid is 184 inches squared. Okay, number five says the area of the trapezoid is 75 centimeters squared. The sum of the bases is 15. What is the height of the trapezoid? So they're wanting me to find the height, not the area this time. Let's write down the formula for area of a trapezoid so we can see what we're working with. The area of a trapezoid can be found by adding the bases together. multiplying by the height and then dividing by two. So they told me that the area is 75. And then they didn't tell me one of the bases, but they told me two of the bases together. The sum of the bases is 15, which means B1 plus B2 is 15. And then they want me to use that to find the height. The height is the missing thing that I will be looking for. So now we are going to plug in what we have to this formula, and then it will be an equation that we're able to solve for H. So the area is 75 equals the sum of the bases was 15. So I'm gonna replace that whole B1 plus B2 with 15 times, I don't know the height, so I'm gonna leave it as h, and then divide it by two. So now I just need to solve this equation for h. So the first thing I'm going to do is multiply by two to undo that dividing by two. And 75 times two is 150, which equals 15 times h. So the last thing I need to do to get h by itself is undo that times 15 by dividing by 15. And 115 divided by 15, or 150 divided by 15 is 10. So the height of the trapezoid is 10. Okay, let's look at number six. It says the area of the trapezoid below is 33 millimeters squared. What is the height? 
So they gave me the area and they gave me one of the bases and they gave me enough information to figure out this second base. This distance right here is equivalent to the first base, which is 10. So that means that the whole entire base is 10 plus 2, which is 12. So 12 is the second base. And the height is what I'm looking for. This is extra information that I don't need in regards to area of the trapezoid. It's just one of the side lengths. Okay, so let's write down the area of a trapezoid formula and then we will substitute in what we have. So the area of the trapezoid is area equals B1 plus B2 times the height all divided by two. So now let's plug in what we have. The area of the trapezoid is 33. So I'm going to replace the area with 33 and it equals base 1 plus base 2 which would be 10 plus 12. The height is what I'm looking for so I'm going to leave it as h or if you wanted to put x you could and then it's all divided by 2. So now I'm going to solve this equation for h. The first thing I want to do is simplify the 10 plus 12 which would be 22. So 33 equals 22 times h divided by 2. And now that I've simplified, I can solve for h. The first thing I'm going to do is get rid of the dividing by 2 by doing the opposite, which is multiplying by 2. And I get 66 equals 22 times h. And the last step to get h by itself is divide by 22 and 66 divided by 22 is 3. So the height of this trapezoid is 3 millimeters.